and welcome to my reading vlog. I'm just gonna film a quick uh, clip because I had a friend come over in like 10 minutes to have dinner. <clears throat> so I just got home from work. I started the day by listening to an audiobook that I started last week. So it's not one of the ones in my TBR. <clears throat> so I listened to the last half an hour of uh, Once Burned by Janine Frost. And then I listened to Where Dragons Lie, Hollow Man. And that was just like a really short um, short story basically and just promotion for something. That almost half of the book, half of the half an hour was just promoting the series or something. So it's really weird. Um, but I did like the short story that preceded it. And uh, that's my phone. And then um, I started listening to Lie Still by Haberlin, I think. Um, <clears throat> I have maybe an hour left on that one. I kind of enjoy it. I it's not something it's not something I would usually listen to. It's uh, about a woman who moves to Texas, Florida. I think she moves to Florida and uh, she's uh, pregnant and her husband is the new police chief and she befriends some uh, women in a, who has this really weird club uh, or something and then the uh, main woman in this club disappears and um, yeah it's about that and it's about old secrets um, getting dug up and uh, yeah I I'm enjoying listening to it, I like the narrator and stuff, but it's not something I would pick up on my own of my own accord. But it's enjoyable and I have about an hour left. And uh, yeah. I also read about 20 pages in Pardonable Lies by Jacqueline Winspear at lunch today. And uh, I'm not sure what I think of that one, because like most uh, crime novels, it's very, I'm not sure what to call it. It's like a lot of descriptions about things that I don't think are relevant. And I think it's part of a series about this um, detective. And uh, I'm sure that the uh, stuff they tell me now, early on in this book, is stuff that you learn in other books. So it's like when you present a character who you already met, they just give you like the short rundown of who, he, who they are. <laughs> But yeah, it annoys me a little bit, but I do enjoy, enjoy the rest of the writing so far. It seems different from what I'd read before. I think it takes place in like the 30s and the detective is like a really old woman. So uh, that's, it's like Miss Marple, but not. And uh, yeah, that is what happened today. I don't think I'll be doing any more reading tonight because I, uh, like I said, have a friend coming over and um, yeah, but I'll update you again tomorrow. Hi, <clears throat> it is Tuesday night. I am dyeing my hair, as you can see. It is messy, but whatever. Um, I thought I'd update you on what I've read today. And um, let's see, this morning I finished Lie Still by Julia Haberlin. And uh, that was a good book. I enjoyed it. I gave it three stars. It's not something I would usually read. And I think the ending was over too quickly. Um, I'm not sure what genre I would put it in. Uh, but it was an enjoyable listen. Um, and then I listened to Lie to Me Dan by Longrin Wetton. And this is a book about a girl who goes to university and this playboy uh, shows, starts showing interest in her and refuses to uh, leave her alone and then they eventually fall in love and, and such. Um, I gave this uh, two stars. I really liked like the overall writing. My arm is hurting. Uh, I really liked the overall writing. But I think the story was uh, not very well paced. Um, 
the, there's no chemistry between the main characters and the, the guy Dan is really unlikable I think because he blackmails one of the girl's friends into like telling him about her and telling him what she's doing and like stalking her and even though that happens it's like it, it's fine apparently and um, since I didn't really look up the books beforehand I didn't really know what to expect and so uh, this <laughs> this book goes kind of from zero to a hundred very quickly um, uh, with uh, a lot of, lot of shit going down at the end of the book uh, or like middle of the book and um, I just it was fine listening to it. I really like the narrator and the language but just not the story so I gave it two stars and then I I need to check my goodreads I have the books there um, then I then I started listening to the audiobook for Every Lie I Ever Told by Rosie Waterland but I only listened to a few minutes of it and uh, the narrative was sort of very robotic in the reading and so I just didn't like it and I, I stopped listening to it because I just I couldn't handle an entire book read like that and so instead, I started listening to The Lie by C.L. Taylor. And this book is about a woman who um, something happened like five years ago to her. And now, five years later, she has changed her name, she's moved, she's got a new job, she's, uh, she's dating a new guy. And then this past comes back to haunt her. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm not very far in. I like, I really like the narrator, narrator on this one as well, and uh, I really like where it's going. So, um, yeah, that is what's happening right now. Hello, it is Wednesday night, and uh, I thought I'd update you again. I have finished another book, which is The Lie by C. L. Taylor, and it's a book about four women who go to a country I can't remember the name of and go to this like retreat up in the mountains and something happens that makes um, uh, the main character Emma uh, decide to like leave town and change her name and just start a new life she doesn't wanna remember what happened and then one day she really re she receives uh, a letter uh, claiming that uh, this, claiming that they know who she really is, and so she starts to have to untangle what happened and find out who this person is who is uh, writing to her. And uh, I think it was really good. It was well written. I liked the narrator. I liked the language. I liked the story. I um, uh, just like the previous one. It uh, escalates quite fast. Um, but in a good way, I think. Because this one isn't quite as outrageous, I think, as the previous ones. Um, I mean, it's still like, like crazy things happen, but I found them to be more believable, I think, than the previous ones. I'm not sure if I make sense. If you read the book, you might think I'm crazy, but, um, yeah, um... I really like how they portrayed uh, Emma, or I think her new name was Jane, uh, as, as a character. Um, she had panic attacks and she was taking medicines for that. And so I like having, they had the character with, um, with uh, that kind of issues um, and how she dealt with them and such. Um, I also liked her new boyfriend she has in the five years later parts of the book. He's really sweet, he's really caring, he's just, he's like the perfect guy and when she tells him about all this stuff he just, um, he's, he's so understanding and really wants to help and so 
yeah I really like that and uh, I just yeah I like a lot of things about this book um, and then I started listening to Your Beautiful Lies I think it was called I need the check uh, mm, mm. Um, I can't find my book Uh, Your Beautiful Eyes by Louise Douglas and it is about a uh, woman who um, she lives seemingly the perfect life. She's married to a, a police officer and she has a daughter and they have a great life and uh, the book starts with her finding out that her ex-boyfriend who went to jail about 10 years ago has been released and he shows back into her life and uh, well things happen. I haven't really gotten that far into this one yet, but I so far really like it. Um, I like the narrator in this one as well. I have, like I said I think yesterday, I I decided against the book yesterday because I didn't like the narrator and I did the same thing again today that I started listening to another book, but I, after like a minute I was like no, I can't listen to this person. And so I just skipped it and started this one instead. And so I really, really like the narrative of this one. I have noticed in both this book and the previous one, they take place in England or Great Britain. And both of them, they call their home a cottage. Um, is that a British thing? Is, or do they mean a specific type of home or house? It's like, I assume it's not an apartment if it's, it's a cottage. Um, but I, I don't know, I just, <laughs> it was just an uh, observation. Uh, and so, yeah, I think my readathon is going well. Um, but I can listen to a lot of audiobook at work, so. And now tonight I've just been uh, watching YouTube and editing a video that's going up on Saturday, I think. The Saturday before you watch this. So it will already be up when you watch this. And uh, yeah, tomorrow is work as well. Hi, it's uh, Saturday night and I haven't updated since Thursday? Wednesday? I don't even remember. I am terrible at this vlogging thing. I want to get better though. So um, here's an update on what I've been reading since last time. I have my phone with the Goodreads up app. I can't remember what I've read. So I think I talked about reading The Lie by C.L. Taylor. After that I read Your Beautiful Lies by Louise Douglas. It's a book about a woman named Annie who, uh, as the book starts, her ex-boyfriend gets released from prison after being uh, locked away for 10 years for murder. And he is adamant that he is uh, not guilty, that he did not kill this woman. And uh, she believes him and starts an affair with him, even though she's married. And uh, I kind of enjoyed this book. Um, I don't condone cheating. And so I was waiting the whole book for the husband to turn out to be the bad guy. Or like, he f waiting for it to turn out like he framed the boyfriend um, to keep them apart or to get the girl or something like that. It did not go as I expected and um, I am conflicted about what I thought. I enjoyed the writing and I, and the story was fine but like I said I think cheating is well not <sighs> I'm not sure what I thought. This book is very grey on that for me but it was enjoyable listen I think I gave it three stars and then I listened to Necessary Lies by Diane Chamberlain Cham Chamberlain and this book is about a woman named Jane I think e
yeah, Jane. Uh, she's like 22 years old, she's just getting married and she's starting a new, new job as a social worker and one of the families that she gets responsibility for uh, has a 15 year old girl who um, she really starts to care a lot for and she really wants to help her and um, she thinks that her colleagues have not really been doing this family justice um, and uh, there's also a uh, plot about her um, relationship with a new husband who is not really proving of her working because he thinks it's diminishing him as uh, a husband and provider. It takes place in the 60s. So uh, he thinks he should be like the provider for the family and she shouldn't have to work because he he's a doctor and he makes all the money. And so that is also a thing. And um, I think it was... Um, I, I, sh I think it was really good. I really enjoyed the story and I enjoyed the characters. What I didn't like was that it takes place in the 60s and so some characters are really outwardly racist. They use the n-word and they use the r-word about people with IQ lower than uh, 70 and just... <sighs> it's a lot of things like that that it was just uncomfortable to hear but apart from that I think the book was very enjoyable and I think it was an important story to tell and um, yeah that is what I have listened to I forgot to add a book I see um, after listening to those I ran out of books that I want to listen to because I had added two more to my uh, in my TBR video I had to more video, two, two more, I can't speak, two more books listed, but I started listening to those audiobooks and I decided that I did not enjoy the narrator and so I just turned them off right away and decided not to listen to them. So on Friday I actually listened to Twice Tempted, I'm gonna see if I find it, Tempted, yeah, Twice Tempted by uh, Janine Frost. I've been listening to, to uh, all of her books uh, recently because I really enjoy them and so I just continued that once I was out of, out of books with lie in the title. Um, and I really enjoyed that series as well. I'll talk more about those in my wrap-up. Uh, so they are really quite short so I can listen to like a book a day almost. I have been reading about a book a day uh, during weekdays when working and uh, I just checked my Goodreads challenge and now it says it's gone from saying I need to read one book a week because that's the goal to 52 to saying I need to read half a book a week to reach my goal which is nice because I'm plowing through books so fast right now um, but yeah that is what I've been reading and apart from work, I've been recording some more videos, and today I've been doing some work for the theater group. I mean, we've had some um, changes we had to do, and I've been uh, quite a big part of that. So I've been doing that all day. And yeah, tomorrow I'm doing more of that. We're just about to start a new term. And uh, yeah. I will try to update tomorrow if I've read anything more, but I'm not sure I will. And if that's the case, this is the last clip. And uh, if you like this video, please... Uh, uh, what am I saying? Uh, if you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe and uh, stick around. I upload on Saturdays, sometimes I upload, upload on Thursdays, like this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.